Welcome back to another exciting episode of What's Going On at Starbase. It's the game show where we show you pictures of a huge block rolling down the road, and you tell us how they make you feel. I'm John. I'll be doing some commentary here for you today. Of course, as promised, it is time for Pad B's launch mount to roll out to the pad. Happened a couple days ago, and this video is going to be chocked full of self-propelled modular transporter action as they carry this, like, an apartment building, house, battleship segment. I mean, it's steel. My house isn't made of steel. It's made of wood. I feel like there's a there's a little pig's joke in there somewhere, but I'm not I'm not going to work too far hard for that right now. Watch the SPMTs. Do you see the curve of the SPMT wheels throughout the... Excuse me. Move, sir. I'm, I'm looking at wheels. Thank you. Um, throughout the course of the video, watch how those wheels move. This is how you move this massive thousand-plus ton manufactured hunk of steel down the public roadway almost two miles. It was like 1.8, 2.1, uh, two-ish miles from where it was assembled, sort of constructed, fabricated, all the way out to the launch mount. That's closer. It, it looks closer than it actually was there because the way the camera lens works. Uh, we did put the cameras back off the road in areas where... They, oh, you can actually see the camera over there. It's off the side a little bit. Um, but we did uh, check in with SpaceX to make sure that the cameras were out of the way and would not impede the move here. We don't ever want to be... Uh, slowing things down right but watch the wheels I, what was it? somebody gave me a count on that it was like 570 something wheels on this thing as it rolled down the road of course if you don't actually know what this piece is uh, this is the launch mount for pad b it is the second launch mount instead of building it out there on the pad they built it back here in the assembly yard and they're moving it down the road Got a discount on SPMT wheels, it looks like. But uh, we had the entire Starbase team out there. Here's a shot from Caesar. You're going to see Caesar sort of running up the road after it, moving the camera to get shots on occasion. We had Gage out there driving a truck, following behind it. And then Jack was in the truck with Gage, actually following along. Here's a shot from Jack leaning out the window of the truck. And you can see the tower in the background there. It's like the slowest car chase ever, <laughs> right? I guess until we time-lapse it like this. But uh, truly, the team really did show up out there at Starbase late at night to get this massive thing rolling down the road. The little heart there that says Stack Me actually came all the way over from Cape Canaveral. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I wonder if that's the same heart, or did we just see that on tower segments It's Cape Canaveral? Like, did they move that around? Good question actually, but uh, you'll see that on there a little bit. Actually, I had to take the, s the speed limit signs down. Most of the signs along the side, uh, they had to move them out of the way because the the OLM is was like 60 feet wide, I think. Gosh, I hope that I'm not remembering those those numbers correctly. Certainly it's not 60 meters wide. Um, I think it's like 60 feet wide, right? And the road is about 40 feet wide. And uh, the signs are a couple feet off the side of the road, right? So in order to get the launch mount down the road, oh, you have to move the signs. So in, in, in any event, there are the towers. We're about sort of maybe a little bit over halfway here. All the trucks with the flashers on. Look at the lighting underneath the wheels of the SPMTs. Jack riding along here. Jack, I have a gimbal um, in my bedroom at the bunkhouse. You are welcome to use. They've got a DJI gimbal. Maybe it's not large enough for some of the cameras. Uh, we've used it for, uh, not kayak, but boat shots in the Rio Grande before. Making it around the corner there. Hopper still checking the papers just from across the road. I do appreciate that they put the light truck in front of it so the roll is nicely lit. Somebody on the left-hand side there watching the clearance as it comes around the wall. You, did, you saw it in that shot. Yeah, here's, look <laughs> The close-up of the clearances here, the wall, and then the scaffolding, making sure, time out, that they were going to be able to fit. Now look at this. Do you see the mud that's been sort of torn up on the right-hand side? And do you see the wheels? Look, like two, three, what is that, five, six wheels back? 
The tops of the wheels are almost halfway down. Look at that. And now they're using, they're trying to use the hydraulics and the rest of the SPMTs to raise those wheels up out of the ground. On some places, they had some metal plates to sort of spread out the load and give it, give it a place to sort of not sink in. You can see the metal plates under the front wheels there, right? But they didn't have those plates everywhere. I am going to just lock this camera into manual focus next time. And look at that! Do, do you see how deep that wheel is in the angle that it's at? And it's like chugging, like crawling along forward. Look at that! They're actually crabbing it closer to the pavement. That's... The self-propelled modular transporters are absolutely amazing pieces of machinery. Look at the spin there! <laughs> I'm sorry. But that is too cool. Needed a couple more pieces of uh, steel in there. I mean, all the wheels are individually driven. It's not like they're all in one big uh, drivetrain or axle or, any, or a, a drive shaft or anything like that, right? So they can all turn at different rates. They can move at different rates. That especially helps when they're turning corners and, and they're sort of out of alignment. But here you see them spinning, not getting that. Then they spin all of a sudden. Look at that. But there are just so many wheels involved here. Those couple that are down in the hole feeling so low, not a big deal for the transport as a whole. No pun intended on the hole there. But look at the next wheel just fall into the hole! <laughs> Those are cool pieces of machinery. Maybe you don't even like machinery, maybe you don't think stuff like that is cool, but those are very cool transporters quite frankly the self-propelled modular transporter spmt we say it all the time on the channel because you see them all over starbase and there you have it <laughs> making the turn into the launch site looks like like ships here you see the the portals on the side there like the doorways those are gonna have big like ship doors on them that get latched down right batten the hatches sort of deal I also appreciate that they have all of the under lighting there, right? Like the under lighting on the SPMTs. I do not know without like a specialized tank tread transporter how you would actually move that thing down the road. It's just, <laughs> here we go again. Person for scale. Love it when there's a single person sort of in frame for scale on shots like that and just the row after row after row after row of wheels. That is too cool. There's going to be a rocket on top of that one day. Not a ship, mind you. The ship does not go there. That would be incorrect information. Uh, the booster actually goes here in the middle of this launch mount, and then the ship goes on top of the booster, right? What are we doing now? We're we kicking the tires here. We're looking around. Are we done? Ah, is this an entire time lapse from the truck cam? This is like car chase action it's coming to a stop every now and then was that a scooter I don't know if that guy was riding a scooter all the way up the road I'm gonna come around a corner here in a second I really cannot say thank you enough to the team out there Jack and Gage and Caesar pulling out all the stops with the truck cam and running along the side of the road and the Starbase Live operators and everybody who came together to make that coverage happen. We've still got Test Tank 17 in air quotes there, still waiting for an official title on that tank. And here's another SPMT bringing in some counterweights, just huge hunks of steel that you can attach to the backs of cranes to balance out the load. Uh, the, the conjecture there is that these counterweights would be necessary for the lift of the launch mount onto its legs. Launch mount weighs a ton, weighs a lot more than one ton, weighs a lot of tons. And you use these to sort of balance out the triangles when you do that lift. Going to be two cranes to lift it as well, it looks like, two of those big cranes in the background. There's a part delivered to the launch site. Be interesting to see where that ends up. Looks like it may pivot or something with that little, uh, little pivoty part there on the background. Little yoke, I guess you could call it. 
There's a tray, that's a counterweight tray, basically a steel structure that you mount those counterweights into that we saw come in on the SPMTs, and the crane hitches up to that tray and then picks up all the weights, right? Now, we did a flyover as well. Do you see the launch mount in that picture? Pause, go back. There's going to be more of these as well, and we're going to do a ton more coverage in Monday's Starbase update coming up in just a couple days there. But you can see the flame trench on the left-hand side there. There is the flame trench, the tower coming up towards the, the airplane, I guess, there. There's the launch mount, and the cranes are going to swing that mount over to the middle of that flame trench. Line up that circle with the little s double ski slope thing there in the middle of the flame trench. We will be doing more detailed analysis of these flyover pictures. Just wanted to get some turned around quickly to you as uh, we had the OLM out there ready to go. So we've got some bonus content. The ex-USS, USS, uh, USS? Yeah, that's correct. JFK, the John F. Kennedy aircraft carrier that was brought in. I guess that was, uh, we caught that on the way back in from the flyover. And here is an empty OLM build site. The question sure what those little things are. There are legs there. there. There are mounts built into the ground. And the question, the conjecture, if you're around Starbase Live and you, you check in with the chats there, people have been wondering, will they move those or will they just start building another launch mount? Is pad A going to get upgraded? Is it going to be the same design? Are they going to basic or start with the same basic structure and maybe there's some little tweaks to it? One way to find out. We will see. But uh, here we've got some tank farm testing, late night plumes. It looked like they uh, elected a lot of popes up there at Starbase. At Ship 38 barrel section, scooting back into Mega Bay 2. You can see the engine section, air quotes, clean room in the background there. And then here's test tank 17 coming out the temporary wall. You can see they've torn down the fancy entrance they built like a month ago. And uh, they put up a temporary wall there so they can move these parts around. But here, once again, we'll see the angled attachment points come on Starbase Live. Up just a little bit. There you go. You see the angles coming out of there? That was the things that uh, I saw a lot of comments, an awful lot of comments. People thinking those may have been thruster ports. Uh, those do not, I don't believe those are thruster ports. Those are test jig assembly points. That's probably the wrong way to say that. But you know what I mean. Um, at points where it test, testing rods, testing pillars, beams, attached to, to uh, apply stresses to the insides of that tank. But for now, folks, that's me up at the top of the list, John Galloway. If we get Adrian and Alex in here, we may have some German and Spanish content as well. Also, massive thanks to the team out there at Starbase and the Starbase Live Ops for keeping things going. Appreciate you watching. Comment down below. I read most of them, and we will see you nerds later.